Peace YouTube, P31 Diva here coming to you with the Sister Locks vlog. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how I braid, section braid and band my hair for shampooing. So I've already started. I have found over the, I recorded a, this video May 2016. My hair is of course a little bit shorter. It has matured a little bit since then, but I have changed just a few small things. I now have a method to the madness and I want to share that with you. So I like to break my hair into three levels. So this is level one at the back, and I always do three. One, two, three. Level two is this middle row, and I do five. So I have one, two, and then I'll break this into three, four, and five. This top one is going to be four, four sections. So that's three plus four is seven, plus five is 12. So 12 sections when I braid and, and band my hair. And I find that for me that just works best. So let me, I'm gonna, before I show you exactly how I do it, let me also answer a couple questions. Um, in another video, and I can't remember her name, but somebody asked about was I concerned that the locks that I had, my consultant braid in the back would lock, the, the, the several locks were braided together because of my slippage issues at my nape area? No, they have not. I took them down for the first time this morning out of the four over here on this side and they're already incorporated into one so I don't want to pull it out. One had a teeny little butt but they weren't locked together, They just the one had a butt. Now over here on this side, they're like six or seven locks. None of them have a butt. <laughs> None of them have a butt. But thanks for asking. I also have two small braids here that I redo every week. And those are to kind of keep my locks that slip from my temple area together. So, and none of them have locked together. All right, let me show you how I make sure I'm not leaving any out. Okay, so I grab a section of hair and I do try to make sure that this is even. Okay, here we go. So let's take this section, finger comb through it. Now, because I have to be mindful of slippage and bunching issues, I braid fairly tight, but I rinse a lot to make sure I don't get any buildup. Okay, so now that this section is kind of finger combed, I used I use elastic bands, not a rubber band, not a ponytail holder, an elastic band. I'm just gonna section it off into three somewhat equal pieces. I braid this braid is going in the same direction as if it were a cornrow, so I'm guessing. Some people consider that overhand braiding. So I'm braiding, braiding. As you can see, I have still a lot of loose ends. When I get to the end right here, we see these two outer pieces, this one and that one. I bring them together in the back. And then I do a two strand twist with the rest of my ends. I do that because when my hair is wet, I don't want to try to pick off a off an elastic band off of wet hair and end up picking open one of my locks that are already open. So to keep that from becoming a bigger issue, I then take it and fold it. One, two, and I let it go. The reason why I do that is because imagine now my hair is soaking wet. All I have to do to get this band off is just go like that. And then I can just gently pull it off without having to do a lot of manipulation. Let's get this. Two strand twist back in. Okay. I'll show you that one more time. One, two. Okay, next one. Again, finger combing. I'll try to get three even sections. It doesn't matter whether you want to go down this way. Some people may prefer down, but because I think I make my sections kind of narrow, I do them sideways. It also easily make, makes me sure that makes sure that I have room at the scalp to get underneath, to get my fingers underneath, like so. So one, two, three. And 
down to the ends. I take the two outer pieces, this one and this one, pull them back behind, and flat, excuse me, and two strand twist. Okay. Now I'll fold it. Grab a band. One, two. All right, there we are. And I still have room to go underneath to shampoo my hair. All right, if I left out anything or you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.